Well, it's been rough. This big white tent is tough to miss when you drive by Colony Diner in Wallingford. But to Eric Selick, he relies heavily on it. Obviously, if it snows, we're not going to have this. So till, uh, till I can keep it up, I'll keep it up there and, you know, trying to do the best I can. Inside are 18 tables with one big heater. Big enough to keep his customers warm, but all of this comes at a cost. The owner of Colony Diner says he has spent a lot of money on the tent and the heater to make sure he keeps his business alive until the winter months become unbearable. It's expensive to keep this thing out, out here. It costs me more for rent for this than the building actually. His business has taken a big hit, leaving him to make tough decisions. 15 of his workers were laid off, including servers and kitchen workers. The months of March to May being the worst. Selick says some customers are not yet comfortable eating inside and will have to push the takeout option. Well, our first priority always is going to be the, our employees and customer safety. So we're going to play within the rules. We'll make sure, you know, we still keep it at, you know, 65 to 75 percent. And, uh, and I'm, I'm thinking uh, probably till, uh, till early spring, we're probably going to do more uh, takeout orders. And he is not alone. Phil Barnett, co-owner of the Harford Restaurant Group and the Wooden Tap Restaurants, have a similar game plan. But the challenge is also getting people to dine indoors. We bought 11 80,000 BTU heaters, and we also bought another almost 30 uh, of the mushroom heaters. And with that, you know, we're going to deploy those out to the individual restaurants. Barnett is working on opening up another location with the awareness now is a tough time to do business, but he is not letting that stop him. Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.